How could I not be excited about this? Make Them Suffer have a new song called Mana God. And I've loved everything that they've released over the past couple of years. Just the songwriting, the power and the heat, the breakdowns, the heaviness, the choruses, the catchiness. So excited for this. Let's check this out. It's just under four minutes and go. Pacey to start. Suck. Similar to Oscillator calling out the song name. Got a drum and bass pace to it. What? God damn, it's heavy with the vocals in this. Nice mix of screams. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a swing. <laughs> Those gaps are delicious. Oh my. That's awesome. You should shout fuck. Love those two voices they have. Bit of dynamic variety in the song. The shackles are off. Oh, mate. Pendulum? Uh-oh. Oh, man. I'm getting excited. Whoa. Half the tempo I expected. Pick that bell. Jesus. Everything's fucked. Do you know what? When it started, I thought, okay, this is a similar vein to the previous three singles, right? Got a bit of drum and bass paciness to it. Um, but then they had those absolute silent gaps with the exception of like an intake of breath those things or closing of breath on the exhale that was cool such an intimate and jarring thing to hear on a record on the first time round. and i wonder how that's going to play the more i hear the song and know that they're coming like just fuck the wind-ups in this song the call outs before the next section especially you want alex just be like fuck this just just an absolute sucker punch of power Love that. So much groove. Great use of, you know, electronics and synthy moments that kind of bleed in and out, guitar effects and things. So you you have this 
great balance for me between heavy fucking guitar rock with aggressive riffs and screen vocals, but you also have fine details and decorative moments that elevate the song to something a little bit more interesting and sonically kind of diverse. It It's a fucking wonderful uh, symbiotic relationship, if that's the right word. I don't know, I'm pulling words out of thin air right now. Between those two things. And the payoff in that was huge. Love that. Some driving beat moments and also some moments where I expected to come into halftime. It went into like quarter time. So when I get more familiar with the song, I'm looking forward to feeling what that's like in advance. But... I just love their sound overall. And I think they they know what they're good at and they're leaning into that. You know, the the heaviness and the groove and the punch, breakdowns, that live is going to be absolute chaos. That's the easiest, easiest rating I've ever had here. It's delicious. It's a delicious song from start to finish. I thought it was absolutely amazing. What was surprising is it didn't have a sort of catchy melodic chorus moment. There was catchiness in the vocals, in the rhythmic repetitions, and moments where the, the two vocals would double up on it, Sean and, and Alex. They were really satisfying. So it is not a not catchy song, to use double negative in a sentence, but it doesn't have the kind of ca- sing-along chorus thing, but it didn't need it. It was just a barrage of sonic punches into your ear holes. And I'm absolutely here for it. Loved that. I'm so excited for the upcoming album that I guess it's just going to feel like a series of amazing singles all together. Um, and then I, I presume a few songs we've not heard yet, but that's coming out soon. And that's going to be a contender, I've no doubt, for album of the year. I've loved what they've been doing. And Man of God is no exception. A fucking delicious song yet again. <laughs> 